What's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to be going over the second company on my watch list. These are all companies that I have thoroughly investigated and determined to be great companies that I'd eventually like to own. The only problem is, is that they are too pricey for my liking at the moment. So what I do is I place them on a watch list and patiently wait for a better opportunity to buy them at a more reasonable price. Because there are eight of them and the full video is going to be longer than most of you would like, I broke them up into shorter videos on each stock. You'll be able to find all the individual videos by following the link to the playlist right up here. You can also click on the thumbnails at the end of each video and it will take you to the next stock on my watch list. So without further ado, Let's get started. The second company on my watch list is Fastenal, ticker F-A-S-T. Fastenal competes in the industrial space where they specialize in the manufacturing and sale of fasteners, procurement and inventory management services, and industrial and construction supplies. They sell their products worldwide and across dozens of different sub-industries like electrical, plumbing, farmers, truckers, railroads, mining companies, and the list goes on and on. They hold a wide moat due to a cost advantage as well as switching costs. Switching costs come from their 100,000 installed base of vending machines on site at their customers' facilities, where their customers order whatever parts they need on demand. A natural extension of having these vending machines in their customers' facilities is to offer optimized procurement and inventory management services. This creates enormous convenience and a very tight relationship with their customers. Customers. It is costly for their customers to switch to a competitor. Revenues are increasing at a very nice rate of 8% given their size and maturity. They do compete in cyclical markets, however, and so go their revenues. But if you look across a full business cycle, they're able to achieve consistent growth in their revenues, earnings, and cash flows. Not only that, but their profitability is outstanding given the industry they compete in. Their baseline return on invested capital is an outstanding 30 to 35 percent, while their margins come in at 20 percent and 14 percent for operating and net margins, respectively. Even though their cost of capital is 10 percent, they still earn 20 to 25 percent on their investments. This is a clear indication that they hold a significant competitive advantage, as I outlined earlier. They currently pay a 2.2 percent dividend yield, which has been grown at a robust 12 percent per year, but that's the extent of their shareholder returns. They don't buy back much stock. In terms of valuation, they're a bit expensive. They trade at a 32 PE, five times sales, and a 3% cash flow yield, which is below the minimum 3.5% yield that I like to see. Fastenal has always traded at high prices, perhaps because of their wide moat and consistent growth. Morningstar values them at 51 bucks, while CFRA has their intrinsic value estimate at 40 bucks, and I value them at 33. Well, that'll do it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Fast and All in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller? If there are any other companies you'd like me to take a look at, feel free to leave them in the comments as well, and I'll eventually get around to them. Also, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos when I release them. It's a quick and free way you can help me grow this channel if you find this content valuable. Lastly, to continue to the next great company on my watch list, click on one of the thumbnails that you see on your screen right now. Until next time, you all take care. I'll see you in the next one.